Hello everybody, welcome back to this channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to model the horizontal flow barrier package. So first we have to open our project. It is our mode flow model, then go to files and then open model. It is my project and I will open it. Once we have opened the project, we can open the horizontal flow barrier package under modules menu and then flow package. Here is the horizontal flow barrier. Yeah, here is our study area. So the horizontal flow barrier package simulates the thin low permeability geologic features like the dike, vertical folds retaining walls or salary walls which impair the horizontal flow of groundwater so these geologic features are a series of horizontal flow barriers situated on the boundaries between pairs of adjacent cells in the finite difference grid in doing so Once we have opened the horizontal flow barrier package, if we like to uh, model along this direction from the north to the south direction, if we click uh, right click under this area, here is a flow barrier dialog box. So it have uh, it has the barrier direction and the hydraulic conductivity over the thickness of the barrier parameters. So in doing the horizontal flow barrier package, we have to input this barrier direction as well as the hydraulic conductivity or thickness of the barrier. So let's see the demonstration in a simple way. The barrier direction is a direction which indicates the surface where the barrier is located. Where the barrier is located. For this exercise, uh, we do have a, a dike structure along the north to the south direction. So we will use three or four as a barrier direction uh, opposite to the flow of the water that originates from the east to the west and then we can model like this let's see the demonstration along our assumption assume we do have a dike structure as mentioned earlier so there is a flow of water from the east to the, the west direction and an impediment structure that is called the dike along the north to this direction to the south so assuming this structure with almost zero small value of hydraulic conductivity hydraulic conductivity and thickness of 10 meter so we can simply calculate this hydraulic conductivity or the thickness of the barrier using excel if you have value of k is equals to small value is equals to 10 to the power of minus 8 less 8 and then t thickness which is equal to 10 meter so k over t will be equal to k divided by t thickness this amount of k over 
t value will be the error conductive or the thickness of the barrier so i can just change this to scientific one this value will be 1 raised to minus 9 and then before this come to the model I want to start the barrier structure that's the dike along starting from this to this direction so I have to zoom this cell and then here is it once it's zoomed i can right click on this cell model cell and input uh, parameter values by direction and sorry and thickness of the and error conducted or is thickness of the barrier i will just copy this and then i will paste okay and then the second one right click input sorry and paste this value then okay and then change to history and test this value with the same way I will input this value sorry and this value sorry and paste okay sorry okay finally we have input these values and then the barrier will conductivity k divided by the thickness of the barrier and as well as the direction of the barrier were inputted so i can save the changes for this model we can just click this icon or go to file and then leave it data save changes to the horizontal flow barrier yes thank you for watching and consider for subscribing see you next time